today we are going to do some cheese sauce and I've been following in the groups and I've seen a lot of people who have done cheese sauce from the number 10 cans but I've never done it and I've not seen any videos so I thought I'd just show you this one it'll be a short video interesting thing happened when I went and bought this from the store it's a best choice off brand and they had two different types of cans they had this can which is the cheese sauce with jalapenos and then they had a cheddar sauce and I was looking for cheddar cheese sauce so initially um, you would pick you, you would think you'd pick the uh, cheddar sauce but it was the same brand bear in mind but I looked at the ingredients on each and on this one let me get my eyeball glasses out on this one the ingredients are water cheddar cheese and tells you what's all in the cheddar cheese blah 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 cheese culture salt enzymes amino color whey vegetable oil contains one or more of the following high Oh, that canola oil, soybean oil, and sunflower oil. Modified food starch. There you go. Anyway, the point being, the first ingredient is water. The second ingredient is cheddar cheese. Now, when I look at best choices cheddar sauce, the first ingredient is water, and the second ingredient is vegetable oil, <laughs> which did not make any sense to me. So, I thought, well, we'll just go for the uh, cheddar, the uh, cheese sauce with jalapeno, which sounds good anyway. So, not really going to do a lot to this. Let me put my scale here, get it, well, put my tray on there. Zero that out. Alright, and this can weighs 6 pounds 11 ounces. So we're going to put just over 2 pounds. I'm going to put 2 pounds and a quarter. 0.25 of an ounce, half of an ounce is, or half of a pound is 8 ounces. So a quarter of a pound would be 4 ounces. So we're going to put that'd be about right. I did take a little bit out of this can just to do a test run but we're going to put two pounds four ounces per tray. I'm going to give this a little bit of a mix because there is some water up on the top of that. <clears throat> All right here we go 2.25 pounds There it is, 2.258, that's good enough. Okay, let's spread that out. All right, there we have it. Two and a quarter pounds. And into the freeze dryer. I'll do two more trays just like that and I have that'll leave me a tray to do something extra in this load probably milk in the fourth tray so let me get this all packaged up next time you see this we'll get it frozen solid and I'm gonna like I say make three trays up freeze, freeze them solid and into the freeze dryer next time you see them they'll be coming out of the freeze dryer I'll see you then okay everybody here we go that's what it looks like coming out of the freeze dryer Pretty cheese sauce. And let's get her all packaged up.
Okay, we got all that in one half gallon jar. And I'm going to put two 300cc O2 absorbers in there just because. Now you want to give that rim a wipe to make sure there's no dust on there. Put my lid on there. And I'll get my cha vacuum chamber pot out and we'll do a vacuum seal on that. Alright, release the uh, vacuum. There you have it. Nicely sealed jar. We'll be using this in an up the upcoming video using some of this powder. But I forgot to do a reconstitution for you just with this this powder for this video. So we'll do a reconstitution for that. And then I'll revacuum seal it. What I think I'll do is just a little quarter of a cup. And we'll figure out how much water it needs to rehydrate that quarter of a cup. Let me get this reset. Okay. So I got a quarter of a cup there. We'll use a half a tablespoon of water for, for at first. And this is a hot water. Give that a mix. Okay, it needs more water. So that's one tablespoon. Still a little bit thick, so we've done two, two and a half. All right, that's kind of almost there, but we might try three. Three tablespoons of water so far for a quarter of a cup. And we are right about there. So we're going to call it that. I just went on to Google to see how many tablespoons are in a cup. A quarter of a cup equals four tablespoons 
but I think if I added four to that, it would just be too runny. So we're going to call that good. Let's see. Can you see that? That's a nice thick sauce. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. That came out creamy. This is jalapeno, by the way. It's got that jalapeno flavor to it, for sure. Mmm. Yeah. That's it. Definitely the ratio. So like I say, I'll be using this powder in an upcoming video here real soon. And I'm really happy with the results of that. And I think you will be too. So there you have it. Another success. Freeze dried. Store bought. Number 10. Best choice. Which is the cheap stuff. Che uh, cheese sauce. With jalapenos. That's a long title isn't it? We'll have to shorten that title up a bit. Okay. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time.